I'm gonna give you three key tips to transition from the glide to the spin, and we're gonna start right now. All right, so right off the bat, let's discuss what is the spin, okay? So if we're talking about the spin, we are using the rotational technique. We wanna see that right leg, if we're a right-handed thrower, we wanna see that right leg go around the left leg. When we ground in the middle, we wanna see that left leg pull to the front and go around our right leg. And then on the finish, we wanna see that right shoulder go around our left side on the finish, okay? So that's the rotational technique. Now, if you're watching this, you're a glider, okay? You wanna transition from the glide to the spin. So you're used to using that linear technique. Here's a big factor that a lot of people forget. Gliders typically have a crazy finish, okay? They're very, very explosive. They learn how to hit that really, really well. They learn how to have that nice linear focus going out of the tow board, hanging onto the tow board like Ulf Timmerman when he went 23 meters and getting every single inch out of it. And the big factor here, we don't want to lose that. We don't want to lose that finish. And this is something that Ryan Krauser has talked about is that when he went from the glide to the spin, he still likes to think about his finish in the spin as a glider finish because he felt so strong, because he felt so explosive with that glide finish. So that's a factor that we don't really want to lose. So that first key tip is how can we achieve that final position, okay? So if we're a glider, typically we might have a little wider standing position. Now, what ends up happening is we're gonna go a little bit shorter, just a little bit shorter. So the main focus now is that let's just say we shorten up that standing position. What gliders are very good at is they're good at hitting the standing position from the full movement. A lot of spinners forget that the whole goal is to get to this point, okay? Watch Joe Kovacs and he's here. When he catches that 23 meter throw, he's here. A lot of spinners forget that's what we're trying to do. If we get back to this position, we are in good shape and we can come out and rip a bomb. So the first key factor is as a spinner, don't forget that the standing throw is paramount to you getting comfortable from that full spin. So when you are coming out of the back of the circle, when you're getting to the middle of the circle, the whole goal is to hit the finish. So use a couple drills, catch that, pause in that power position, and then hit that full throw. Okay, and that's gonna lead us in that second key hack. When we're gliders and we're trying to transition over to the spin, we have to keep it simple, okay? And what better way to keep it simple than literally drawing on the circle with where our feet need to be. So one of the quickest hacks that you can do as a glider switching over to the spin, put your feet in the back, draw an arrow, and we actually have a t-shirt that we used to sell with these arrows on it. And we do this at every single Throws University camp. And I've even done this with Yaime Perez, working on her right foot, not over rotating, working on her left leg, getting a little bit deeper. We put the X's in the back. We put an arrow, an X where the right foot goes, if we're a right-handed thrower for the power position, an X where that left leg will go at the power position. And then now we throw. So what we can do as gliders is we can draw that on the circle. Another easy tip that you can use that I'm not even gonna count in this video is you can head over to throwsuniversity.com and you can pick up our Learn to Spin in 30 Days course. This is a course that we go through every single day. The exact reps, the exact sets, the exact movement pattern that you need to do to achieve that spin. So that's another factor. You can pick up that Learn to Spin in 30 Days and it will spoon feed you that spin technique. Now. If we go back to these X's, okay, all we're focusing on is foot placement. And if we have that arrow, we wanna think wide right, down, left leg, down. When the left leg grounds, I want my left hand in line with my right knee. Left hand, right knee, left hand, right knee, okay? Now I'm here, I turn and I hammer that finish. We can't forget that finish, okay? Now, the final problem that I see with a lot of spinners that used to glide is actually based off the way they finish, okay? So we learn how to be rotational. We do thousands and thousands of drills with the X's drawn in the circle. We learn the comfort of that finish from the glide. Now we start to switch the way we think. We still wanna hammer like we did as gliders, but we need to switch the way that we think, especially with our left arm at the finish. If we sweep with that wide right, okay, and I land in the middle, I wanna to start to think about long, long left. 
okay? If we have gliders, we'll go left here and typically this left arm will come in, okay? If we have spinners, we want a long, long left. And the hardest part of a spin is the fact that we're really starting to use our non-dominant side a lot more. So when we ground here, the left leg pulls to the front, okay? Now, if we watch Joe Kovacs, when he throws 23 meters, this left arm is high, okay? We wanna be stacked over top of our right side in the middle. The left gets to that X that we draw, okay? Left arm is long. And when this left arm opens, open here, it's like you wanna wrap that left arm, and in this case, I would be wrapping that left arm back to the camera. I wanna open wide to help me continue to rotate through and rotate back around, okay? The big factor, the big difference with switching from the glide to the spin now is that you have to open wide and you have to rotate forward. You keep rotating. You don't want to come here and just stop. You wanna come forward and keep rotating around. When you master that finish with a rotational aspect, that's when you're gonna to start to drop monster bombs. So that first key factor is, don't forget, the entire goal is to get to that standing position. Gliders have a big stand. Take advantage of that as you're transitioning, as you're switching. That second key step, draw X's in the circle for where your feet need to hit. Okay, put X's in the circle with arrows for where your feet need to hit. It's easy, it's so easy. Second and a half step, head over to throwsuniversity.com, pick up our Learn to Spin in 30 days course today. And then finally, that main step is that we wanna focus on rotating on that finish with a very long left arm that helps us rotate forward and smash at the finish. So those are those three key aspects behind switching from the glide to the spin. Peace.